Hey, my loves. How are you all today? Sorry about the hair. It's a bit mental. I gave it a wash and now it's a big buffer. So, last night we got in and I was really tired, wanted to go to bed. So, um, I climbed in and as usual... James thought it would be a good idea to lay down next to me and start chatting away about stuff that had happened to him. He's got a real knack for that, you know. He, he um, half the time throughout the night, you know, on a weekday or whatever, he's looking at his phone and I hardly get two words out of him. But, yeah, just before I'm ready to go to sleep, that's when he thinks, oh, do you know what? I really want to have a conversation with this girl. You know, I want to tell her my life bloody story. But I'm kind of glad he did last night because th this is quite funny. So, yeah, he was chatting away and um, he was telling me how the other day he, he was walking home from work. And see, with James, he doesn't like people. I mean, you know, friends, yeah, he, he he does like people, but he's not much of a people person. He wouldn't like some random person, you know, touching him or, um, you know, barging into him. It, it would make him feel quite uncomfortable. Well, I suppose anyone barging into you would make you feel uncomfortable. But, yeah, hey, hey. So, anyway, these girls were walking towards him. And he thought, oh, do you know what, I'll get out their way. I don't want them touching me. Skanky bitches. I'm sure he didn't think that. Anyway, he got out of the way and uh, stepped off the pavement and his foot slipped. And he thought, that's a bit weird. And he sort of looked up and saw these cones around, but didn't think anything of it. So once they'd gone past, uh, he got back on the pavement and he looked at his shoe and this is what he found he stepped in luminous yellow paints but he didn't see it he saw cones but he didn't see the paint. Cheerio, eh? Mind how you go. Call me Larry.